US President Donald Trump has said that the US might sell the export version of the F-47 next-generation air dominance sixth-generation fighter to its allies in the future. The Indian Air Force has secured permission of Defence Ministry to lease one Airbus A330 multi-role tanker transport for three years from the French Air Force. Goa Shipyard has launched the second advanced Talwar class frigate for the Indian Navy. The Indian Air Force is all set to procure aircraft decoys modelled after its Rafale Su-30 and Tejas fighters for frontline bases that are designed to mimic the visual and radar signatures of the real aircraft to deceive enemy forces during a surprise attack. India and Italy held a two-day meeting in Rome, focusing on ways to expand their military cooperation, including in areas of capability development. The Indian Navy is looking for the indigenous development and production of 12 megawatt engines for ships up to 2,000 tons displacement. The UP government is establishing a state-of-the-art military hardware testing facility in Lucknow that will enhance the UP defense industrial corridor. French firm Thales has inaugurated a new avionics maintenance repair and overhaul facility in India. New deep tech and cutting-edge policies under the TDF scheme has been initiated to encourage ERDO establishments to identify and involve private sector entities in the collaborative development of emerging technologies. Indian Army's Tiger Division conducted battle drills using tanks to enhance combat readiness. A senior official from the Indian Air Force has said that any initiative to create a sixth-generation aircraft would necessitate a design from scratch that would require technological innovation, financial investment, and international collaboration for cutting-edge technologies. He also said that the operationalization of the AMCA would provide the perfect juncture for the Indian Air Force and Aeronautical Development Agency to begin conceptualizing the sixth-generation leap that would accommodate more advanced systems weaponry and potentially new propulsion technologies. The DRDO has confirmed that its 25 ton Zora were light tank is designed with scalability in mind, paving the way for a potential 32 ton variant equipped with 120 mm gun and an upgraded 800 horsepower engine. If the Indian Army seeks greater firepower and upgrades in the light tank category, ensuring that the platform can adapt to evolving operational needs while maintaining its core design integrity. General Electric has confirmed that the first of its F-404 engines for the Tejas Mark 1A is en route to India, and is expected to arrive this week. General Electric has committed to deliver 12 engines by December 2025, and a ramp up to 20 engines annually from 2026 onwards, that is enough to raise one full squadrons annually, and one partially, as each squadron comprising of 16 single-seat fighters and two dual-seat trainers for pilot training and operational conversion. After the CCS clearance for the procurement of 307 ATAGs, the chairman of Bharat Forge has said that the indigenous content in the ATAGs will exceed 80%, as the company is making almost everything in-house, and it will be a purely Indian-developed and Indian-manufactured platform, and the push to exceed 80% is aimed to reduce vulnerabilities associated with imported parts, such as supply chain disruptions or geopolitical constraints. Today's top 3 comments 